Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I want to share a little piece of knowledge with you guys that might actually change the way you do business. And it's because there is better ways of doing things as technology goes along. And today is no exception. Now if you're like me, for the last 15 or so years, you've relied on Google to do most of your searching and to find information. What if I told you that Google is not even close to what it used to be 10 to 15 years ago? So, I'm going to show you a very good alternative. Let me switch this guy around, and uh, we'll take a look at using ChatGPT to do web searches. I'm serious. It'll, it'll uh, get you there better, and it'll get you better answers. All right, so here we go, guys. Um, taking a look, this is actually Google. I know it's a Firefox browser, but I did that because that way there, this couldn't be a preconceived search using cookies. It is something that I just did, and I asked, are there any battery-powered Bluetooth portable vinyl printers? And it does give me some answers here, here, here. You have to sift through all the marketing uh, mumbo-jumbo, and there's a lot of sponsored stuff that pops up at the top of your Google search, which is pretty annoying. It, it really is, because often the sponsored stuff isn't anything of what you are really looking for. So in order to get more information on any one of these items, you have to go inside the thing and click on it and read up. Or you can come here, and this is the scam section. <laughs> Everything in this area here is usually um, poor quality, and it's usually Chinese import, and it's either not going to have good drivers or it's probably going to fail. I've had bad experiences with stuff in this area right here. But uh, all these main line... Uh, companies like brother yeah they probably put out some pretty good products you're gonna see a lot of duplicates like these ones right here doesn't really tell you anything because you only get one sentence sentence and a half so you have to go in and that's the key is they want you to go inside the page to find out more information they give you just enough to make you click on it you see you got a price you've got uh, a few other key information but they really want you to go into the page to find anything else and that's because that's how they get paid, is the clicks, all right? So Google encourages the clicks. Now that was just, uh, are there any battery-powered vinyl Bluetooth printers? Let's go ahead and take a look at another question. What are the remaining games in the Copa America in Texas? Now this is, this is how my brain thinks, is in a question like that. Um, I, I just want to know how many games are left in Texas, right? So in order for me to find that out, I have to click on a whole bunch of shit, a whole bunch of garbage to find out what's going on in Texas. And the key there is not what games are in Texas. It's what games are remaining in Texas. Remember, it's about finding the exact information of what you want. Now, a lot of pages are going to tell you the uh, the cup schedule and everything. That's fine. Um, uh, imagine taking another five to ten minutes at least pop-up ads, and all the other garbage that takes place when you click on those links. So now, let's see what ChatGPT does. So I asked, up here in the corner, are there any battery-powered Bluetooth vinyl printers? Verbatim, what I asked Google. And it says, yes, there are. Here's one, and it goes through the type, thermal printer, pros, cons, features, and then there's a link. I can click on it, and that will send me to where the item is. I really like that it does the pros, the cons, and the features. Now it doesn't tell me the price, but you know, if I'm if it's what I'm looking for, I mean look at this. One of them's an inkjet and one of them's a thermal printer. Those are vastly different technologies. And uh, now you got Kodak with their zero ink zinc technology. Um, down here's an inkjet, down here's a thermal printer. It does not print in color. You see the cons. Normally, you have to sift through items to find out that information. Now, I could also ask it, what are the prices?
and now it will give me the prices on those items. You see that? It's pretty neat. So you can you can find more information without clicking on the link if price is going to be a factor. For me, if I'm searching for technology, the technology itself is the main factor of my search. So as we go down through it, I find one that I like, I click on it, it sends me to a page that shows me more on that item. Okay? Let's try the other question. What are the remaining games in the Copa America in Texas? Here are the remaining Copa America 2024 games scheduled in Texas. AT&T Stadium, Arlington. Here are the dates. Down here, Energy Stadium. Here are the dates. Q2 Stadium. Here are the dates. These matches will bring excitement to Texas as part of yada, yada, yada. However, this is the exact information that I was looking for. Now, guys. This is only the beginning. You know, these are generic questions. These are questions that I just popped off the top of my head. But imagine how much time you spend every single day trying to find information, like a part. And I just seen something this morning. It was a GPT that somebody made for medical equipment. That's fantastic because it's probably going to get people the information faster. However, chat GPT does make mistakes. So you have to verify your information. And just relying on anything as a verbatim is probably not a good idea. However, if it provides links and you can click on the links, that now you are given the information quicker and you've got the links so you can dig up even further. You can go down the rabbit hole however far you want. It's about doing business faster. Now, everybody knows that we have to do more with less than what we used to. ChatGPT is a huge tool and helping you find what you're looking for information wise. And you can even ask it questions to help guide you for your professional development, etc. It's actually a wonderful tool, but guys, I use it for searching the internet and it keeps a history of those searches off to the side. So if I ever have to look up that part number for that GE bed again, I can find that part number because I archived that chat and Let's say that wasn't the correct part or they modified it. I can go in and I can get more information by entering into that chat once again. Try doing that with Google. It just doesn't work the same way. And if anything, Google is just inundated with ads, with garbage links, with pop-ups. Google is on its way out because they can't innovate fast enough. AI like ChatGPT is going to get us there a little bit quicker from my experience. So try it out, ChatGPT 4.0, which should be a free version of their latest language model. Check it out, ChatGPT. Thanks for watching, guys.